Memo to Melbourne, don't mimic Monaco. Melbourne risks becoming a destination city instead of a productive hub unless the government intervenes to provide enough affordable housing for its essential workers as a leading city. That's what a leading cities expert says. It is interesting, this push lease, that they uh, they really want to make sure that Melbourne is focusing on, on more infrastructure, but it's pretty hard when the government are like, well, we've got no money left, sorry. Well, people I know in Melbourne will tell you that the CBD is busier on weekends than it is during the week because, I don't know, lots mm. of people still working from home perhaps and there hasn't been that push to put some sort of life back into the CBD during the, the weekday. So I, we've been mm. saying it for a long time. I think that has to be a priority about getting that city back alive again in, in the heart of the city. And so it can't just be a, a tourist destination. It needs to be a thriving metropolis again. It was one of our greatest cities and I just think that, you know... A, months on or so far on from, from COVID, it hasn't fully recovered. And that is a really, really sad indictment of what that what the state went through.